In this lesson, we will discuss Flight Management and Guidance Computer, FMGC, Functions, Database, and Operational Modes. The two Flight Management and Guidance Computers each have two main sections, the Flight Management section and the Flight Guidance section. The Flight Management section controls the functions of navigation, which includes position computation and the automatic tuning of required navigation radios, flight planning, which includes lateral and vertical functions, the prediction and optimization of performance, and the management of the primary flight, navigation, and MCDU displays. The flight guidance section controls the functions of the autopilot, the flight director, and the auto thrust. Each FMGC has a self-contained database which has two fields. One field, which is not modifiable by the pilot, contains navigation data for company routes, waypoints, airways, holding patterns, airports, runways, airport procedures, nav aids, fuel policy, and alternates. This field is customized to suit the individual airline and is usually updated every 28 days. Confirming the current database in use is done by selecting the Aircraft Status page at Line Select Key 4L. A second smaller field allows the pilot to temporarily enter and store up to 20 waypoints, 10 runways, 20 nav aids, and 5 routes. The FMGC also has an integrated performance database used by the Flight Management section to compute predictions which is not accessible by the airline or pilot. The FMGS has three modes of operation, dual, independent, and single. When operating in the normal dual mode, the two FMGCs each perform their own computations and exchange data on a crosstalk bus. Data entered into either MCDU is transferred to both FMGCs and all peripherals. In the event that one MCDU fails, all data is retained in the other. The FMGS operates in the degraded independent mode when there is a major mismatch in database or program compatibility between the two FMGCs. When this occurs, both FMGCs work independently and control only their on-site peripherals. A message in AMBER stating independent operation comes up on both MCDU scratch pads. Any entry on one MCDU is transmitted only to its respective FMGC. In order to get similar flight director autopilot orders, identical entries must be made on both MCDUs. The FMGS operates in the degraded single mode if one FMGC fails. When this occurs, the MCDU menu page appears with an FMGC timeout message. When the FMGC function prompt is selected, the MCDU screen returns with the message Opposite FMGC in Process. The remaining FMGC controls all peripherals, and both MCDUs control or display data from the remaining FMGC. The nav display associated with the failed FMGC must be set to the same range and mode as the opposite nav display. Otherwise, a message, Map Not Available, and Select Offside Range Mode is displayed. 